channel. Today's video is going to be a skincare related video. I have been loving skincare lately. I'm so obsessed. I have bought so many new things and I can't wait to show them to you. Not in this video, but for sure in the next one or like in the future videos because I am planning to film a lot of um, skincare related videos because I really like that topic. So today I'm going to be talking about um, the mistakes that people do with their skin. These mistakes are usually things that could cause you like to break out or to have a bad skin day or very dry skin or just not having that beautiful glow that you could be having because you're doing these things wrong. Sometimes we do things that we don't even notice and just knowing like that this is wrong could help you a lot. Sometimes we do stuff and we think that we're doing the right thing and then it ends up like being something that didn't help at all or something that just made everything worse. Trust me, there are stuff that you think is good but it's actually even really bad for your skin. So the first thing that I would say that people do or like girls or even boys is that they put makeup over skincare. I'm not saying that you're applying makeup on top of your skincare, but that you think that makeup is more important than the actual skincare. Of course, you can buy a nice foundation and you will have flawless, beautiful looking skin. But at the end of the day, when it comes to taking it off, your skin will be there with pimples and breakouts and acne. And trust me, I have been through that. I know the pain, I had really really bad acne and what actually helped me was Accutin. So also knowing that um, pimples and acne is something totally different. If you have really bad acne, please go to a dermatologist, get your treatment and that is the only thing that is going to help you. Trust me, there is no product in the world. Maybe like from the outset it will clear up, but as soon as you stop using it, it will come back. And sometimes the skin gets used to what you're using. So. Um, it won't be even helping anymore. So back to the actual mistake. Um, instead of just focusing on a really like pretty outside looking and makeup, try to get nice skincare products. Try to feel it. Like when, when it comes to my skincare routine, I really feel very fresh and I'm just enjoying the moment. Like I really learn to appreciate stuff. I am very like, relaxed at the moment I just had to get rid of all the stress that was on my back and just learn to enjoy the process when you're taking off your makeup just enjoy it just feel beautiful and look at your skin even if you have pimples believing actually helps um, becoming if you put something on your face and you're like oh my god this is going to help this is going to look amazing and you truly feel that and you truly believe then that is also going to help you a lot because your body will start believing in what you're thinking and the power of thinking is so strong I just blubbered around so much I'm so sorry but what I wanted to say is don't just focus on makeup try to find good products for your skin so the next mistake is not having the right products for your skin. Some people have oily skin and some people have dry skin and some people have very sensitive skin. And some people just have normal skin, like my mother, she can do anything with her skin, nothing will happen. She's like a turtle. I don't get it because my skin is very, very sensitive. I have to be so careful with what I put on my skin because um, I would just break out. And also with what I eat, I have to be so careful. It's so annoying, but it's also so worth it because, because I stay healthy and I just got to know my skin. So the first thing is get to know your skin. Know You have to know which skin type you have because there are so many young girls. They go to like drugstores and stuff and they just start buying stuff for the skin. Not knowing if it's for normal skin, for dry skin, or for oily skin, they just put it on their face. And that could cause major damage to your skin. Because if you have very oily skin and you go and buy something for very dry skin, that is going to destroy your skin because something for dry skin will be nourishing and like hydrating. And if you have very oily skin, of course you won't hydrate, but you want something without oil and something lighter. Make sure to ask an employee for help because they are there to help you. I know sometimes we feel like, uh, I don't know if I should ask or not, but make sure to ask because it will be worth it. Next mistake is something very annoying because especially when you have acne, you see all the like proactive and Clarisil and blah, blah, blah. And oh my God, this is going to get rid of your pimples. 
don't buy that crap. I'm being serious. Like, don't buy that. I would never, ever, even if like Clarisol or Proactive would contact me, I would never do a sponsored video showing their products. And I'm not trying to be mean, like I bought their products in the past. I have bought them and I tried them and they did not help. The only thing they did was irritate my skin because it does not help. If you scrub your skin, which is the first proactive product, if you scrub your skin and you have really bad acne, that is going to mess up your whole skin. You are going to share the whole bacteria. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. I know I have clear skin now, and yes, I did um, take Accutane, but if I will not be very careful right now, I will still have so many breakouts on my skin because as I said, my skin is very sensitive. So please, the next time you go to Target, don't grab the most aggressive product because that is going to mess up with your pH and with your skin. It's going to just destroy your skin. What I prefer using is like water-based products, more natural stuff. For a moisturizer, the only thing that I use is like eye cream and argan oil. Argan oil is the best thing when it comes to getting rid of pimples. I know it is an oil, but it will not, I swear, it will not give you pimples. I first heard of that when I watched a YouTube video and the girl was like, oh, I like using argan oil and I was like, what the heck? How do you use argan oil on your skin and do not have any pimples? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out, I don't even care. And that is me having very sensitive skin. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. So I went to the drugstore and got myself an organic. It has to be pure organic or argan oil, not like hair oil, just pure argan oil. It is kind of expensive, but it's still worth it. Like it was 24 bucks here in Switzerland. And I just share that all over my face before I go to bed. And when I wake up, my skin is so glowy. It is so soft. I remember when I first started using it, I went to school and my friend was like, oh my god, what is that? Your skin looks amazing. And I had to tell her and she even like checked it out. I, I don't know, but she asked me what it was. It makes a whole difference. Also, Sephora has a really good face mask, but I will do a whole separate video on that. I have so many products that help me, but argan oil is like my key. It is my favorite thing. It is the key to glowing skin. I, I couldn't even like say anything better about it. Next mistake is probably something that is the biggest cause for ugly breakouts and that is not cleaning your stupid beauty blender when you are about to use it. Girls, please, that is nasty. It is nasty, nasty. When you are about to use your beauty blender, go and wash that with fucking soap. Use soap, just wash it, like make sure to really wash it, get rid of the dirt that is in there, not just wet it because ew, ew my god, like I used to do that, I used to just go in the sink and just like damp it and use it on my face, no, don't do that. My skin has actually all the changed so much since I've stopped doing that, like ew. Ew, it's nasty. You don't have to buy the Beauty Blender soap. You can use like the things that you use for your dishes. Please make sure to wash it. It's just nasty and disgusting. I don't even want to think about like uh, spreading all the bacteria from yesterday on my face and from the week before. That is just gross. Like water alone won't wash that out. Like just, it doesn't even like take that long. Just take soap, squish it, put it under really hot water and then take cold water because the hot water will help to get rid of the dirt that is inside. Next mistake is um, something that also a lot of girls like to do when it comes to removing your makeup. I hate makeup wipes. Ugh, I don't understand, like my mom does that, so many other girls that I know do that. That is just so weird to me because when I put makeup on, there's a lot on my face, okay? Like it looks kind of natural, but I still have foundation on and stuff. And makeup wipes alone won't take that off. You have to wash it with water and cleanser and soap. Like even sometimes even the product that is on the makeup remover wipes will break out your skin if you have very sensitive skin. You can totally use the makeup remover wipes. Remove it first. I like to do that too. I do buy makeup remover wipes because sometimes the eye area is very difficult, the lips area is difficult. But then afterwards, I go in the shower, I take my facial brush and my cleanser and I wash it because we have to get rid of the dirt. And trust me, you will be like shocked when you see how dirty your facial brush is because there is still a lot of dirt on your face. 
So make sure to get a cleanser and wash it off because it is really disgusting to go to bed with all the dirt still on your face and not being aware of it because you think that the makeup remover wipes are actually removing everything when they're not, trust me. It doesn't remove everything. You have to use water to get rid of it. Like, you can clean a baby's bath with a baby wipe, but at the end of the day, you still have to give your child a bath because it's still disgusting and we want to be clean. Next mistake is something that a lot of people also don't know. And that is when you go to a makeup store like Sephora or MAC and you want to get your makeup done there and you're looking at makeup products, please never put samples on your face. And I don't know if you guys noticed that, but when you ask for like a makeover or something, they always use the freaking samples. I know that MAC has this thing where they like have um, the applicator separately and everything is very clean, but still, be careful. Sephora doesn't have like separate applicators. I know they do have some for mascara, but they still have the actual brush on it. And I know that a lot of people don't even care and they just put it on their eyes. They just put concealer on their face. And <laughs> there are so many people in that store. And sometimes girls watch that on their hands. You don't know what they just did with their hands. Maybe they just had a one night stand. Maybe they just wiped their ass. Maybe they just went to the toilet. Maybe they just did something really disgusting. Then they put the product on their hands and you are there applying it on your face. Isn't that just gross? That is so nasty to me. I don't understand like, oh my God. Please never put samples on your face. And if you do, make sure that you have a separate applicator. Ask for the employee to clean the product first or something. Just don't put it on your face and if you want to really see how it works, you can also just watch it on your hand, just like the girl before I did. Please don't put it on your face. And that can also cause um, really bad diseases actually on your lips, on your eyes, you could get an eye infection, you could get um, pimples, so many things, it's so dangerous. And the last mistake is not using a face mask. I know that so many people think, oh my God, it won't even help. That was me a while ago. It won't even help. It's only like a one way use. I will have to throw it away anyway. It's not going to do anything good to my skin. And actually I know just because you can't see the result straight away after using the mask doesn't mean that it didn't help. Because after using a hair mask, for example, you can feel if it helped. You can see if your hair is softer, if it's shiny, but with your skin, you can't really tell. But it's still very important to use a face mask twice a week or once a week. You don't have to get the most expensive one, but it's very important for anti-aging, for nourishing your skin, for glowing skin. I'm also going to film a separate video on that and show you guys my favorite face mask. Because especially with having really sensitive skin, it was really hard for me to find good face mask. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and have a beautiful day. I love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye guys. You got a fetish for my love.